everyone. This is Teacher Stephanie from The Green Room. Um, I hope everyone is having a nice time so far at home, but we miss everybody in The Green Room. We miss all the families, all the children, but to keep everybody busy while you're staying home, we are going to try to post some stories and some activities to do at home. Okay, so today I chose a book from my own personal library. It's called the lion inside the lion inside and this is the title page we go through this during circle time this is the title page front cover back cover and spine okay the lion inside In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny full house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. Here's the old rock. And under that rock is a tiny house where this mouse lives. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. He got stepped on and sat on. He missed out on stuff, ignored and forgotten. His mouse life was tough. He's so tiny that the, the big animals don't see him. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, there were quite different, times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. The king of the jungle. This huge toothy creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could. I wonder what he's going to do very loudly. The lion. <gasps> Roar! That's how he shows how brave he is. He was head of the pack. He was shouty and proud. He loved flexing his biceps and wowing the crowd. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only thought mouse, I could be more like that. So the mouse wants to be brave like the lion. Then late one dark night in his tiny mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He leaped up in the darkness and held up a paw. I've got it, he said. What I need is a roar. I mean, what if this mouse with the weeniest squeak were a little more grrr and a little less meek? Well, he said, well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in and life would be nice. So he thinks if he wasn't so quiet and small, maybe he'd fit in better and the bigger animals wouldn't step on him as much. Yes, thought the mouse, I must find out how. I will learn how to roar, I will learn it now. But it wouldn't be easy, there was only one beast who could teach him this thing, but might make him a feast. Right there. A little mouse feast. It was time to be strong, take a chance. After all, forever was such a long time to feel small. So he's scared, but he's still going to do it. So he made himself brave and he thought like a winner. He set off for the top, hoping not to be dinner. So he's going to do it. It felt like the scariest thing he could do, 
But if you want things to change, you first have to change you. So usually he's not feeling very brave, but he decided to change and be brave today. The farther he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. So he's down here. He's going to climb all the way up here to the lion. Then at last, as he stood on his tippy toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. Ahem, gulp, pardon me. Wake up, Mr. Lion, you've got company. Um, squeak, Mr. Lion, what I've come to you for is squeak. Do you think you could teach me your roar? I wonder what the lion is going to say. Oh, look at his face. Look at the lion's face. A silence befell that twinkling plain. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time went so slowly it felt like a week. Then he opened his mouth and let out. What is he going to say? The lion is scared of the mouse. The lion curled up in a terrified ball. He didn't like this, not one bit at all. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, this mighty great lion was afraid of mice. Don't worry, mouse peeped. I'm here as a friend. Let's hang out together. Be pals to the end. That was a magical moment for sure, when the mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice and learned to speak out, and for that you don't need a roar or a shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better now that the rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head, and lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. So now they're friends. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. The end. And that's the mouse. Well, thank you for listening and we'll post some more things this week, okay? Bye everybody.